What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on the iOS 11.4 and iOS 12 beta. A new jailbreak has been demonstrated at Mosic 2018 and this jailbreak is a little bit special. You don't need CDA Impactor for this one because you trigger it from the Safari browser. I'm going to show you exactly what's going on but you probably already know about the Mosic conference which is taking place annually and it's called Mobile security conference organized by the Pangu jailbreak team and the POC which is power of community. Now they had a lot of interesting talks here at Mosaic this year. It took place yesterday by the way but one of them was an actual demo of an iOS 12 and iOS 11.4 jailbreak from the 360 Vulcan team. And if you take a look in here, it says that the 360 Vulcan shows iOS remote jailbreak exploit for both iOS 11.4 and iOS 12 beta on Mosaic 2018. And this is a picture from the conference where the jailbreak is actually demonstrated. Now, sorry, my bad, who is actually a developer we talked about in the past, who is working for the uh, 360 Vulcan, posted this yesterday, quote, iOS 12.0 beta remote jailbreak demo at Mosaic 2018 thanks to the help of Pangu team and Morpheus and he posts a link to a website that has a video and the video is the actual demo showing the jailbreak and how it works and if you take a look in here if you navigate you can see that the jailbreak is actually being triggered using the uh, Safari web browser which means that it's a WebKit exploit involved this means of course that if such jailbreak gets released you wouldn't need CD Impactor and you wouldn't need to sign every seven days. You just go to the website and jailbreak every time you need it. This would of course be very, very easy. And there is a possibility that Electra can be updated to do the same thing on iOS 11.3.1. There was such exploit released for the iOS 11.3.1, a WebKit exploit, and it might be useful for that matter. But we're going to see. Anyways, this jailbreak apparently, as I said, is using the uh, Safari as an entry vector. And of course, after the, uh, the jailbreak is being installed, it will do the same thing a normal jailbreak does. It will install a payload. And then of course you can see here Cydia is being loaded. So they managed to get Cydia working for some reason, which is actually something pretty hard to do since Cydia is massively broken and you have to do a lot of stuff in order to fix it and in order to make it start properly. So anyways, they managed to get the terminal working and they demonstrated the fact that they managed to get a jailbreak for the iOS 11.4 and the iOS 12 beta, which is something very good. Remember the 360 Vulcan never released a jailbreak in the past, but they are indeed a real security company and they are indeed legit developers. Anyways, the Mosaic conference showcased a lot of important stuff. Security researcher Ian Beer has also been there and he presented a lot of important stuff. You can take a look in here. He had a talk called Build Your Own iOS Kernel Debugger. So a lot of good stuff happened yesterday at Mosaic conference, but the most important one in my opinion was this jailbreak demo. Now I have no idea whether this will be released or not and there hasn't been any yes or no posted by, sorry my bad, or by any other 360 Vulcan team member. But it's a very good thing to see that the iOS 11.4 and the iOS 12 can indeed be jailbroken and not in any ways. It can be jailbroken with Cydia and with a jailbreak that can be triggered from Safari, which pretty much means that we may get to ditch the Cydia Impactor at least in the future. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Gio Snow. Until the next time, peace out.